Hi, I hope you're well today. Today's video is all about how living life sober doesn't have to be about denial and deprivation. I can remember a very specific Saturday morning where in my back in my drinking days where I woke up fully clothed on my bed. And as I lay there kind of gradually coming to, my, my body was emanating stale alcohol fumes, my breath was burning with the taste of stale alcohol. As I gradually kind of came to, I realized I couldn't really remember the evening before. I couldn't remember anything about it except a segment of memory towards the latter end of the evening when we'd driven home from the pub. We'd gone to the local pub on the Friday evening. We'd driven home from the pub and my memory was I was being carried from the car to the house with my boyfriend on one side of me and my 14 year old son on the other side of me. And I can remember it really vividly even today. I can remember the black night sky twinkling with stars. I can remember the cold fresh air and I can remember not being able to walk, slurring my words, um, being generally obnoxious and my boyfriend and my son carrying me into the house. And as this fragment of memory came back to me as I was waking up, I just felt this hot flush of shame wash over me and it started kind of in my feet and it washed up through my body, through my chest, through my neck, into my face and I lay there in bed and I felt virtually for all of the day until late afternoon, I felt pinned to the bed with shame, embarrassment and guilt. Now, this wasn't the worst drunken incident of my drinking days but it's a typical example of how my weekends used to go and very occasionally my weekdays as well. Often at weekends I'd be pinned to the bed with this fear, with this panic, with rising levels of anxiety. I was unable to kind of function at a normal level. Things like going to the shops, going to the supermarket, doing the weekly shop, getting up and doing the housework, going out and meeting people. All of those things were kind of denied me in my drinking days because I was so hungover, I felt so bad, my mental health was so poor that I couldn't deal with normal everyday things. Um, the story is very different now. Now that I've been sober for a few years, I'm a very different person in the mornings. Whether it's weekends or whether it's weekdays, I'm a very different person. In fact, I'm annoyingly bright-eyed and bushy-tailed in the mornings now. I annoy my partner because I wake up, not quite at the crack of dawn, but when my alarm goes off, I'm waking up, I'm jumping out of bed, I'm ready to seize the day, I'm encouraging him to get up and get active and join in with me, um, which he doesn't always want to do. And I put the radio on, I do a workout, I eat a healthy breakfast, I sit down with my herbal tea and I plan my day, I list all the things that I'm grateful for. I have my morning routine and I stick to it and I enjoy it. And what that does is it prepares me for the day and it enables me to seize all of the opportunities that the day brings me. When I stopped drinking alcohol, I liberated myself from, from the prison that I'd created with my relationship with alcohol. There had been so much that I'd been denying myself and depriving myself of when I was drinking. I was denying myself the ability to live my life fully and authentically with purpose, with commitment. I was denying myself my aspirations. I was denying myself healthy, positive connections and relationships in my life. I was denying myself the ability to make the most of every day. I was denying myself all sorts of things when I was drinking. And yet, when I go online and I do all my research on, you know, sober coaches, I look at NLP practices, I look at um, updates in the coaching world because I want to stay at the top of my game in terms of my own practice. Um, I notice that a lot of people are talking about living life sober as if it's a struggle, as if it's somehow painful or difficult, as if um, it's somehow about denial restraint, deprivation and struggle. And the picture that I often find being painted online is quite a negative, quite a demotivating one. And I've been thinking about this and I, I really want to offer an alternative way to thinking about living life sober. And the way that I want to offer is that it doesn't have to be all of those things. It doesn't have to be a struggle. It doesn't have to be denial. It doesn't have to be deprivation. Of course, in the early days, when you first stop drinking, and certainly when I first stopped drinking, you need to learn 
how to live life sober. You do need to put some work in. You need to put some energy in. You need to put focus, determination, resilience, practice. You're effectively learning a new skill. If you've had an unhealthy relationship with alcohol and you're learning to live life sober, it's like learning any new skill, like learning a musical instrument, learning a dance, um, learning to speak another language. You need lots and lots of conscious effort, energy, focus, determination, and hours and hours, days and days and weeks and weeks of practice before you get to the point where it becomes easy, it becomes automatic, and it becomes liberating and fulfilling. And here's what I want to offer you. The possibility, the suggestion, the hope, the belief that in fact, living life sober can be easy. It can be automatic. It can be fulfilling. It can be liberating. The key here is that what you believe about living life sober will become your reality. If you believe that stopping drinking and living life sober is going to be a life of struggle, deprivation, denial, restraint, guarding yourself against temptation, then that's how you'll experience it. If you believe, on the other hand, that living life sober is going to free you from the chains that alcohol had you in, that it's going to be a life of fulfillment, aspiration, achievement, purpose. It's going to be a life that allows you to be the best of yourself and that you're going to be able to live life not being in fear of alcohol, but being happily living alongside alcohol, being able to watch other people drinking, being surrounded by alcohol without batting an eyelid, easily navigating your way through the, the kind of society and culture that we live in where alcohol is kind of pushed on us from all directions. When you believe that it's possible to live easily, happily and healthily sober alongside all the alcohol promotion and people drinking alcohol around you, then that's exactly how you'll experience it. What you believe about living life sober will be the reality that you create for yourself. And it's important to remember, if you're ever feeling like living life sober is denying yourself something or depriving yourself of something, just think about it the other way round. Think about all of the things that when you were drinking or when you are drinking that you're denying and depriving yourself of. There is so much more to life than drinking. And in fact, what, what happens is that when people are kind of through that learning part, when they're through the sort of early days of learning to live their life sober and they're happily and healthily enjoying a fulfilling life sober, what they find is all of the things they thought they were depriving themselves of by being sober are suddenly no longer a deprivation. So for example, I used to think that I could never enjoy parties sober. I used to think I couldn't enjoy weddings. I couldn't enjoy sober event, um, social events. I couldn't enjoy all these kind of different events without a drink in my hand, without getting drunk. And what I've discovered is that I enjoy them even more. I enjoy them differently sober. It's not the same as being drunk, it's different but it adds more to my life that way because I'm able to sleep well, I'm able to remember it the next morning, I'm able to get on and function and, and seize the following day and all of the opportunities it brings. So it adds so much more to my life being sober than it did when I was drinking. So if you ever catch yourself thinking that living life sober is about denial and deprivation, just remind yourself of everything that you've been denying and depriving yourself of when you've been drinking. If you want more inspiration, tips and stories about living life happily and healthily sober, you can subscribe to my channel. I'll look forward to catching up with you very soon, but in the meantime, let's go get sober together.